speaking with Barbara Waldinger. She is the instructor for the Ali course, Greenwich Village, 1913, Suffrage, Labor, and the New Women. I'm John Kroll, New Woman, rather. I'm John Kroll, speaking with uh, Barbara. And uh, this role-playing concept, uh, very exciting, very interesting. And uh, again, uh, the, the topics are in themselves, right, and the people in themselves right. is what allows your students to really get a feel for what was happening then. Right, and the book, each, each of the books involved in the Reacting to the Past series have first uh, person documentary uh, evidence, articles, essay stories mm -hmm. um, from people who lived at that time. Mm. So the, the students are steeped in this before they even step foot into the class. Mm -hmm. uh, and then they are called on right from the beginning to come up and present uh, who they are and what they want mm. in an attempt to sway the indeterminates to their side. Mm. And of course, you know, a big push for uh, women's suffrage mm -hmm. uh, at that point. And I'll kind of, we're actually looking at a poster of uh, one of the protests uh, in Washington, D.C. at that time. And, you know, again, we being the home of Susan B. Anthony and, and uh, leaders like that, uh, who's mm -hmm. from Adams originally, I think, you know, we know a little bit more than yes. than perhaps the the average show on these topics. But um, but it's it's hard to believe that, you know, it was just over just a little bit over 100 years ago yeah, that this was happening and That's women right. didn't have the vote. They didn't have the vote. And from the antis, um, that means anti-suffrage people, there were so many powerful arguments that they used. For one thing, suffragist is the right word. Suffragette is, is pejorative, mm. which I did not know. Mm -hmm. um, uh, for example, men felt that God gave women a different path in life. They were supposed to bring up their children. They were supposed to run the, the home and the family. They didn't belong out there. And they had made very popular, very uh, accepted arguments. Mm. Um, uh, women are too frail to take part in this rough and tumble of politics, for example. That's not how their minds run, mm -hmm. for example. And there is no inalienable right to vote. Mm -hmm. uh, there is, and a healthy nation must draw on the leadership of the most fit. And mm -hmm. who's the most fit? These guys who are politician, who yeah. are bright and intelligent, who don't have to run their families. They have their wives back home. So these arguments are pretty powerful. And again, and I mean, this this happened, uh, you know, even 50 years before the most recent, you know, the feminist movement, as it yes, were. That's right. And that's again, right. it was generations, mm -hmm. at least a couple generations, before we were able to see women in a different pl way in the workplace that's and right. in, in many other ways. Mm -hmm. um, so these women uh, who pushed and, and, and fought for this, uh, it was remarkable, really was remarkable. It was so foreign yeah. to the way people believed. Mm. Um, and, uh, and there was such, you know, such, so many arguments against it. It's amazing that they got as far as they did. But it involved a lot of other stuff too. For example, uh, black women wanted to march in, in the cause. And the suffragists had a problem because the very wealthy women who would support this would not support it if, it, if black women were involved. Mm. And so they have to make these choices that are terrible. Mm -hmm. uh, and then you have Sojourner Truth walking around saying, ain't I a woman? I mean, there's just right. so many issues And it's so fascinating here. because looking at those dynamics, uh, how it works in politics. We ha we we spoke about it earlier. How well yeah. you got to pick one because Congress isn't going to move on all these at once. They can't right. you know stomach it or politically it doesn't. Work. And and that is the harsh reality. Often, I mean, you look yeah. at our own president today. You know, he he can only how many off, things can he get he through? Can, he can yeah. only get you know one big initiative through at a time. When That's of course right. there are so many that so that, many. that are needed. That's right. That's right. And then you have labor. I mean, if if you look at the horrible conditions, the mm. labor, the, the sweatshops. You know, where right. people are dying. The Triangle Shirtwaist Factory was 1911. Right. 146 women died right. uh, at their machines. Uh, this was happening all the time. Yeah. And Upton and Sinclair uh, you know, yeah, writes about that. Exactly. Uh, and eventually, hopefully, uh, that, that did change. I mean, it did, you know, it did at <laughs> the time. So, you know, those are the kinds of uh, major uh, situations we had. And exactly. uh, what, what a time. Yeah. And, what a time. Uh, and, then, and then you have these women in Greenwich Village yeah. who were smoking, who were taking lovers, 
Uh, you have Emma <laughs> Goldman, who's an anarchist. You know, you have <laughs> people doing these things. Nobody could believe it. How could women have the right to do that? And this is an incredible time in history. Mm. And this, uh, the, and Mary Jane Treaky, who wrote this, is uh, teaches you know women's uh, issues mm -hmm. uh, at I think it's at Simmons College, yeah. and she 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 her classes always face this. Mm -hmm. One thing that she says though is we have to be careful not to call this feminist because that word didn't exist at this time. Right. We can't bring our 21st century perspective to this game. Mm. We have to live in that time, right. which is very exciting, too. Which is what the role playing, I think, is all about. We're speaking That's with right. Barbara Waldinger. Again, the course at Berkshire Alley, very exciting, uh, bringing to life Greenwich Village, 1930. Uh, 1913 rather suffrage labor and the new woman uh, we'll continue our conversation after this